<laughs> okay, with that, I believe we'll have our roll call. Stein? Here. Dolly, absent. Stonebarger? Here. Arnold? Here. Hansen? Here. McGuire, Shriver, and Albertson are absent. Okay, look at the agenda there, and could I have a motion to approve the agenda? Motion to approve. Okay, motion by John. Second. Second by Mark. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Okay, the agenda has been approved. Okay, number two on the is the minutes from the September 22nd meeting. Motion to approve the minutes. Okay, John made the motion. Second. Second. Jason seconded it. Any discussion on the minutes? Corrections, additions on the minutes? Okay, all in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Okay, the minutes have been approved. Number three on the agenda, the annexation and zoning of a portion of the southeast corridor of section 4-116-52. Okay. So we had a petition for annexation and zoning um, for the southeast corner of section four, township 116, range 52, which is property um, just south of Walmart by the bypass, by the south bypass. Um, Joan Andres is the petitioner and the owner of the property, and Watertown Development Company has a purchase agreement for that property. Um, they plan to zone it, I-1, <coughs> and is just waiting for annexation before the closing of the property. Okay. So and the surrounding the surrounding zoning is currently I one for what they're proposing. Okay. Have you um, had any feedback from anybody prior to the meeting? No. Nope. I mean, we sent out certified letters and to the adjacent landowners and. Okay. Nothing's come back. No. Nope. Pro, pro or con. Nope. Okay. All right, I believe with that, I'll open up the public hearing. Then if anybody's here to speak on behalf, either for or against this motion to annex this land in. Who owns the land in the north there that would apparently remain in the county? Do you know? What's that? Who owns that little, that little block of land in the center there? Is that still going to be outside of the city? This little section? Yeah. At, yep. Um, Where's the tool? Oh, here it is. And that is Bob Andres, this is land. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, also another thing for the bypass there, we talked with Rick Small and instead of going halfway in between the, um, the street, we're gonna take over the full right of way just so then it cleans up maintenance duties and everything that will just take the full right of way and annex okay, that. Not, not only the land, but you'll annex the whole right of way of that south bypass too. Right. So then that'll become city? Yep. Okay. Just a portion of it though, I suppose, that borders that land. The full right of way. Because usually we just go to the um, half of the street, the center line of the street. Mm -hmm. But then this way, we're just gonna do the full right of way so there's no confusion okay any other comments that's both on the south and the uh, east side yep okay and we're we'll uh, kind of tackle this in two steps we'll talk about the annexation first and then the zoning second so if there are no more comments on the annexation could I have a motion by the board Okay, motion by Mark to accept the uh, annexation of this property. You have a second? Second. Okay, Jason. Any comments or thoughts from the board? Okay, hearing none, we'll vote on the annexation then on the motion to annex this property into the city. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Okay, motion passed. Second part of that is a zoning. Okay. 
Any comments? Uh, we already had the public hearing and no one spoke on behalf of it, but questions from, do I have a motion? You can make a motion to zone it I-1. Okay, John made a motion to bring it into the city and zone it R1. R1. I1. 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 Excuse me. I1. Okay. Let's have a second. Mark. Mark seconded. Okay. Now thoughts from the board. Questions from the board. Okay. Hearing none. All in favor of zoning I1. Say aye. Aye. Anybody opposed to it? Okay. Motion passed. All right. Moving right along here today. Number four, approval of the 20, 2017 Planning Commission schedule. Rod, you can't leave already. You didn't say anything yet today. <laughs> uh, that's unusual. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, and we have the schedule in our packet, I believe. No, no. no we didn't have it in our packet. Do you have a schedule? Well, or, or we don't have to meet next year? <laughs> is, that, is that right? We get a break? <laughs> yeah, we can, we'll put it in the next meeting. It'll, it'll be basically, nothing will be different than this year. It'll always follow the council meeting on the Monday. It'll be that Thursday. November is the only one that, with the holidays, where we'll just use, we'll have one meeting time. But we just wanted to, have you guys take a look at it to see if you had any issues. So All right. We'll, we'll include it next next time. Okay. So what do we, what do we meet the second and third, second and fourth Thursdays? Uh, what is our schedule now? We'll still be meeting twice a month then? Yep. yep. Went from the one meeting to two meetings. We'll continue that? Yep. Okay. Because you're approving both the Board of Adjustment and the Planning Commission of the same dates every time now. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. So right, what, what's the schedule? Will we meet the first Thursday after the first Tuesday or what is it? Kim, why don't or Jill say that again? Just maybe turn your mic on for anybody listening. Just reiterate those dates. The city council meets on the first and third Mondays of every month, of every month and we try to schedule for the second and fourth Thursdays. Correct? No. No, we always the, follow. just following we follow. the same the week. First and third. Yep. Okay, <laughs> the same week. They're always a Thursday at 4.15. The week okay. following this, the, Thursday after the, the Thursday after the city council meeting. Yep. So it'll be the first and the third weeks of the m months, and then it'll be the Thursday following the city council meeting on Monday. Okay, and do we need a motion for that today? You should, if this, if you, it's this information item, that's okay. That's What's this middle deadline? Is that two weeks or before? Or? Yeah, this middle deadline didn't change. It's exactly the same schedule as we got this year. Like I said, it's always after the first and third yeah. Monday that there's a city council. So if, if the first day of the month is, uh, is on a Wednesday, then it's the following Monday, and then your council meeting with that one. So it could actually be in the second. It'll be after the first full week and the third full week. The only date that we've lost is still a two-week time that we have from one to the other. We have to have two weeks just to make the paper for 10 days notification, public notification, and our research work and everything else for both of us. And the only date we lost is the 23rd of November, which is the day before Thanksgiving. So, okay. Okay. And hopefully there will be some that we just don't have many, period. Okay. All right. Any other old business today? She said we didn't need one. Do you want a motion to approve that? Oh. Oh, I, th I said there was no new business or old business. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Yeah, right. just do a quick motion first. Okay, let's do a quick motion, so John. <laughs> okay, John made a motion. Mark seconded. All in favor of that, that schedule? Aye. Aye. All opposed? I guess that's our schedule. <laughs> All right, now you said there's no old business today. Is that correct? Right. Any new business on the no. agenda? Was none? Okay. Have a motion to adjourn? Mark? About your turn, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> okay, J Jason, second. And all in favor, say aye. Aye. <clears throat> Meeting adjourned. Okay. Now we'll move into the board of adjustment. But for the board of adjustment, we need five people here. 
Pat's in a meeting downstairs, so he went to pull Pat in the mayor's office, and he'll be up here in a minute, and we'll proceed. So take a little break. Not really, not with historic preservation and trying to as it exists, but get it level and Jason, second it. Any questions, discussion, clarifications? All in favor say aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Okay. Minutes are passed. Number two. Go ahead, Ken. Okay. Applicant is Merle Tashert. The property address is 15 Second Street Northeast. Uh, applicant seeks approval to convert approximately a 4,700 square foot, 100 by 47 foot retail space located in the C1 Community Commercial District into a 50 unit heated rental storage unit facility pursuant to 2403.11, the zoning ordinance and contingent upon compliance with the specific rules governing individual conditional uses. Uh, basically, it's the building just south of us here. It's always been uh, Napa or Farnham Auto Parts for years and years. He's just gonna take the inside front area and convert that into storage lockers, approximately eight by eight foot lockers or units. Uh, I have an overhead picture here if you want to see it. Or if you guys saw yep. it. Yeah, we can put it up quick. Yeah, if you have it there, yep. Ken, go ahead and put it up. Thank you, Pete. So, yeah, Keep so this, this is the original front door that's still existing today. They're going to probably push those doors out to the front, move them back, and then the rest of these is just going to be heated storage. There's going to be a bathroom and office over here that's put in for the, uh, the machine shop that's still going to remain in the rear. So this is a conditional use, and uh, there's really no options or issues. So you will. I, I have one question, Ken. Okay. On the drawing I have, the side door that went into the alley is blocked by a storage. So there's only one entrance into this building. Is this one only requires one entrance. Yes, it meets okay. all the code requirements of the single entrance. All right. And all the storage will be accessed from the in interior then of the building. The only way okay. Get in is going I'm sorry. The only way they'll get in is going through those front doors, and these will all be separate locked heated compartments. It, it'll be a nice deal. It'll give the people uptown some place to store their bikes and their Christmas stuff or whatever they want without. Uh, yeah, nice idea. Having to go way out of town. So. Okay. And it was public notice. And we public had no notice. Comments, pro or con Nothing came way. back either way. Letters went out. Everybody was notified. Yep. Okay, let's open the public hearing. Anybody here today that wants to speak on behalf for or against this item? Doesn't look like it. Okay, could I have a motion then today to approve this? Okay, motion by Jason. I have a second? Second. Okay, John seconded. Okay, now, any discussion of the board? Thoughts, comments, questions? 
pretty easy to get along with today. Breathing <laughs> right along. Okay, all in favor say aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Okay, motion passed. Go ahead and get your warm storage, Thank your you. heated storage. Get your bikes put away. Can they store lawnmowers in there with gas in them? Um, I don't know. I would, uh, I would be advised, but I think uh, quantity of less than five gallons in residential use probably is not. It doesn't be matter. Issue, so, hmm. okay, we'll, we'll let Chip work that out. <laughs> Okay, let's um, move on to number two then, regarding, or number three actually, regarding Prairie Crossing, the LLC. Yes, uh, owner applicant, this is EVI Prairie Crossing LLC. Property address is 420 and 424 Ninth Street Southeast. Application was submitted requesting to enlarge and expand an existing 10,719 square foot non-conforming assisted living facility which exists as on a large parcel located in the R2A or single family attached residential district. Said non conforming structures are currently set as close as 22 feet from the front west property line where a minimum 30 foot setback is required. Uh, the non conforming 1,597 square foot addition connecting two existing non conforming buildings is proposed to be constructed 22 feet from the west property line where a minimum 30 back occurred. So basically, what this is getting down to, EDI wants to come in. Uh, when this was originally permitted back in, I think it was 94, uh, this was dimensioned to be 30 foot this way and 30 foot that way. And actually, we originally was going to just do the permit without even coming to you, but that 22 foot was discovered when we thought we had to go through a FEMA thing. And I think the public noticed that you guys got all had some FEMA literature in there. The FEMA issues have all been resolved and are not any consideration for the board whatsoever. They've been totally taken care of. So all we have now is this existing structure, which is now 22 feet from the property line here to here. And their intent is, is they're going to enclose this area in line with what's already existing there, and it comes back partially into here. So this is basically a bookkeeping thing, easy peasy. I support it 100%. Okay. Pretty straightforward then. Letters all went out. Everybody was notified, the neighbors. And yep. Oh, and no. Nobody, no comments, pro or con either way. So. Okay. Thank you. All right. We'll close the public hearing or open the public hearing if anybody here in the audience today that would like to speak on behalf. Either way, no, everybody's shaking their head no. Okay, I um, think with that then I'll close the public hearing and ask for a motion. Okay, Pat, Mr. Shriver made a motion. John, you seconded? Yes. I saw your hand move, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, questions from the board? Comments from the board? I think with that then we'll call a question. All in favor say aye, approving this. Aye. Anybody opposed? Motion passed. I have no old business, no, no new business. No old business, and I guess I need a motion to adjourn. Mark? Anybody else? One second that, Pat? Okay, all in favor of adjourning, say aye. Aye. Okay, motion approved. Thank you. Service, Pat. Short and